Hello guys and welcome to another MK Mobile video. Guys, today I want to show you something which uh, I found out yesterday. I was told that Classic Goro behaves strange in terms of the time it takes for him to tag in and then to tag out. It was really, really amazing. I'm not quite sure whether he's buffed or not. I don't think that he's buffed because as you can see, his passive remains unchanged. However, this behavior of Goro after tagging and out is really really strange so without any further ado I just built this team guys it is nothing great I mean I have Tremor who with Earth Elemental Face Mask is one of the best openers because he's immune to all debuffs I have Goro so I can show you what I'm talking about and I have Dark Fate Terminator uh, because again he's one of my uh, diamonds that I have lowest fusion so I quickly assemble this team and I'm going to do a hard battle so I can show you what I'm talking about. Seriously, Goro... Okay, I have this thing uh, on my start. I have the Blaze's Life Force uh, because Blaze's Life Force is kind of useful in the beginning of the game. So I will switch Terminator for um, Black Dragon Terminator because I don't want to give X-Ray to uh, the, the enemy Dark Raiden. So, you see, I'm tagging Goro in, I'm doing special 2, and you can see, he's almost there, guys. My special 2 ends, and my next character is ready to tag in. I'm not quite sure whether it's just me, but it feels insanely fast. Now, I'm doing the same thing with Terminator, and I still have some time. I don't understand it, guys. You can see again, I'm using my special 1. And I just did the mini game. I'm in the process of doing my special one, <laughs> and my other two characters are ready to tag in. That's in that's insane. Again, special to the Terminator. You see, it takes more time. Really, really strange. What do you think, guys? Is it me uh, getting crazy, or the tagging speed for Goro seems really, really? F I mean, faster. I don't think it's me, guys, because it really feels faster. Anyways, the first battle was kind of easy. By the way, I don't think there's a way that you can lose a battle having Goro and Terminator in the same team. It is close to impossible, guys. This team is so safe. You cannot really lose. Alright, I'm going to uh, reinstate Black Dragon Tamer, uh, Tremor as my starter because... In general, he is the best starter out of those three. I don't think I'm going crazy, guys. I really believe that Goro's tagging speed is really, really fast. Really fast. I'm not quite sure whether this is a buff or not, because to be honest, Warner Brothers, this is the thing that I hate, is that they never actually tell you whether they are buffing or nerfing a character. They don't release a statement or something about it. At some point, you just realize that the character is weaker or stronger. Which is really bad because uh, you cannot really say, okay, is this a bug or is it a nerf? For example, remember Ravenous Melina? Her special 2 uh, used to be unblockable. Special 1, please. So her special 2, the second part of it, used to be unblockable for like 2 years, ever since the character was released. Oh my god, look at the damage, guys. Totally annihilating this looking. And at some point, suddenly, it stopped being unblockable. It, it happened probably November or December last year. Out of nowhere, we didn't receive a statement about it. We didn't receive anything. So I contacted them. I asked, okay, this special tool of Melina is kind of broken. Can you fix it, please? The second part of it is no longer unblockable. And they replied, uh, we are sorry for you feeling bad about Melina special tool. And we will deliver this message to the developers, to the guys who are behind uh, the game. I said, yes, okay, that's fine. And can you guess what happened since then? What changed? Nothing. Melina special to is still unblockable. And by the way, I just... Uh, oh my god, Baraka. I am so scared right now. I'm facing Baraka, guys. It's over. Uh, so, uh, I contacted them again, probably one month ago. But this time I used Facebook. And they said, uh, yeah, we received your message in January. I can confirm it was received. However... We still don't know what happened to Melina. This was their response, like half a year after I sent uh, 
the book report. And the thing is... Okay, 88%, nice. Thing is, I really want to know whether this is an intended nerf or whether it is a bug. So the best way uh, for them to make sure that we don't wonder such things is to release a statement after each update. Uh, and the statement should be like, we have nerfed this and this character and we have buffed that character or the other character, doesn't matter. Point is, we want to know if they have intentionally buffed or nerfed a character. Currently, we don't know that. And that's a pity, really. Okay. So somebody, by the way, saying that Goro is a bad character. Come on, guys. Classic Goro has two unblockable special attacks. You cannot say this character is bad. Not in a thousand years, no. He's just great. I mean, I admit there are better characters than him. But he is not bad at all. Trust me, he's not bad. And by the way... His, both of his special attacks do quite a lot of damage. It's not just his special two. Uh, one can argue that, for example, Classic Jax also has two unblockable special attacks, but the first one doesn't do a lot of damage. Well, this is not the case for Goro. Both of them are doing great damage. Look at this. Classic uh, whatever counts, classic whatever goes. This is it. This is how easy it is. You have to do anything else. There you go. How can you say that Goro is a bad character? He isn't. Yeah, he is slow, but if you're using him as a fighter, obviously you won't be very successful with him. Uh, what you have to do is, I mean, take damage with him if you have to, take advantage of his passive, eat an X-ray, and then just tag him in and out, use his special attacks, and that's it. You don't have to use him as a fighter, because he's not designed to be a fighter, he's quite slow. This doesn't mean, though, that he's a bad character. As you can see, I'm totally annihilating every single uh, opponent that I face without any issues. Look, see, this Liu Kang is a joke. Special 2, there you go, Liu Kang goes. And I cannot really uh, do amazing on this mini game because I'm playing on emulator. Uh, this is another bug, uh, by the way, somehow the ability is unblockable, somehow uh, he kind of uh, blocks part of it in this range. Oh my god, Kano, you stupid tryhard. Are you kidding me right now? Yeah, my Goro died, but now he's going to come back. Anytime now. Okay, I have. Oh my god, look at the damage. <laughs> Probably this uh, Keshi is very low fusion because I totally annihilated him with the non special. Actually, it's not even a special, it's the damage Goro deals when he tags in. Okay. Okay, I'm going to finish the battle with Terminator. Can I miss it now? Oh no. It's okay, I believe you can cast it from distance. So we're finishing the game with Terminator Fatal Blow. Anyways, what do you think guys? Do you think that really classic Goro attacks in and out much faster? Yeah, he is terminated. It really feels that he tags in and out very very fast. I don't think that is just me. Okay guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned because on Thursday I'm going to release the Black Dragon Kabao review. And this review is going to be awesome. Until then, see you next time, guys. Take care and stay safe. Perfect!